he attacks the demon. He doesn't attack the woman. He doesn't call her by names. He doesn't say, you crooked woman. He calls her. When he called her to himself, he said, woman, be loosed from your infirmity. He said, woman, and he goes into the spiritual world, a world she does not know much about, a world that the rest of the synagogue only read about, but he steps in there and sends his word, and that word loses something in the spiritual world, and in the spiritual woman, the world, this woman becomes free, but she's still bent. And then Jesus comes to the natural world and he touches her back. And the Bible says when he touched her, immediately she became straight. I want to tell you something that the Word of God, it attacks the devil. The Word of God, it heals our dysfunction. And the Word of God restores our identity. Can somebody say amen? The Word of God attacks the devil. In the counseling world, they usually tell you if you have a conflict with your spouse, this is what you should do. You should get together and both of you try to attack the issue, not the person. And if you've been married or if you are married and you ever try to do that, especially when you're mad, it's very difficult. But when you are really mad and you try to not attack the person but attack the issue, then the person stops defending themselves and they support you in attacking the issue even if the issue is their, their issue. But if you separate the issue from the person, you can solve the issue and not hurt the person. But Jesus goes even further. Jesus doesn't attack the dysfunction. He attacks the spirit behind the issue. See, the Word of God is not so you can cut your spouse and say, God said, submit to me. God said, love me. Cook my food. Do this. The Word of God is so you bind the devil without hurting the person. The Word of God is to reaffirm the person's identity, heal the person's pain, and break the hand of the devil. But most of us, we break the person's identity, wreck and damage the issue by trying to solve it and leave the devil untouched. Jesus does not heal the woman first. Jesus breaks the power and the grip of Satan. He attacks the devil. He touches the damage that was caused by the devil whom he removed. We must recognize when a person receives freedom, they don't necessarily get everything in their life fixed. There are still damages left from the curse or a demon. And that's why the Word of God is so important to heal those damages, to touch those hurting areas of your life so you can be made straight and glorify the name of God. But Jesus doesn't end there. The woman is still there praising God. And he talks to the ruler and he said to the ruler, this woman is a daughter of Abraham. What would happen if you would hear that Jesus said that about you? Oh, that would encourage your faith. You would print that and put that under your refrigerator. That would be a ringtone on your phone. On a good day, on a bad day, you will look at yourself and you say, Did you know what Jesus said? I'm a daughter. Guess of who? Not Moses. Our father Abraham. Because the word of God is to break the hold of the devil. Heal the damages caused by him and reaffirm my identity. Without God's word, there is no deliverance. Without God's word, devils will not flee. Without God's word, you cannot be healed. And without God's word, your identity will be based on what you did, what people have done, what you said, what they have said, she have said, what I think, what I feel, what the media said, what this have said, how I look, what I accomplished, what degrees I have, and how much money I get. Your identity will come like this up and down, up and down. But when you have the Word of God, you'll be like John the Baptist. In the peak of revival, they came to him and they said, Who are you? And John did not say, I am John the Baptist, the son of Zechariah and the son of Elizabeth. He said, I am who God says I am. I am a voice, like prophet Isaiah said. And when John the Baptist was locked up in jail, John the Baptist was still the same. I am the voice that was sent to declare the Word of God. 
when your identity is anchored not in your accomplishments or your mistakes but in solely in the word of God you will weather through the storm and when you're feeling down you will still be standing when you're feeling up you will still be standing why because the word of God never passes graduations diplomas fame everything passes it comes and it goes people rave at you when you're on the top and they forget about you the moment you hit the bottom but God's word that created the world it never ever passes